What's going on guys, a few days with you here and today I'm bringing you the uh, settings that I'm using um, for my Monoprice Select Mini version 2 uh, 3D printer. The software I'm using is Simplify 3D. The reason why I use this one is um, I think it's a little bit more uh, detailed in terms of settings than uh, Cura. And basically my printings, basically they never fail on Simplify 3D. So. What you want to do is you want to open up a file, just open up the software, and here at the bottom left corner, you have Edit Process Settings. You click on that. At the beginning, this is what you'll have. So half a page here, uh, you have the processes, uh, all the information, uh, configuration for material. So you, what you want to do is you want to click on Show Advanced. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do, basically, I'm just going to leave uh, um, uh, the screen as is uh, for a few seconds each time so you can copy the exact settings the settings must be exactly the same okay uh, extruded tool head tool at zero nozzle diameter 0 0.40 for the mono price extrusion multiplier by one uh, the extrusion width is manual at 0 0.48 for the use control the retraction distance 2.50 millimeters extra restart distance of zero same for vertical lift zero and a retraction speed of 1800 millimeters per minute uh, close at end and wipe nozzle um, must be unchecked okay so this is for extruder next is for the layer here so primary extruder you choose basically primary extruder okay the primary layer height this is basically um how fine you want the filament to 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 exit the nozzle so how detailed you want your print to be and this is directly going to influence the time it's going to take to print. So by default, uh, I suggest you're using 0 0.20, 0 0.20 millimeters for basically um, a rough 3D print. OK, it's not that rough, but it's, you know, it's not that smooth as well. So if you want to have it smoother, uh, you can choose 0 0.15, 0 0.10 or 0 0.05. OK, so these are the four settings that you can use 0 0.05. This is the um, the best quality that you can get 0 0.1, 0 0.15 or 0 0.20. OK, by increments of 0 0.05. So for the top solid layers, we want to have three, two bottom solid layers, uh, three, sorry, bottom solid layers and two outline perimeter shells. Outline direction is inside out. Uncheck print Iceland and single outlined um, first layer settings this is really important so the first layer height 100% this name is uh, this stays um, the same all the time first layer width 120 you want to have a basic solid first layer and the first layer speed 30% the reason why you wanted 30% of the maximum speed is because um, this is the most important layer basically the first one is the most important layer so if your pla or abs does not stick to the uh, heated bed it's maybe because your layer speed is too fast it's, it tries to um, stick the filament on the bed uh, at, at, a, at a high speed so what you want to do is just for a few first um, for just for a first layer actually you just want to go very slowly okay so you need to put it at 30 percent uh for the start points uh just click them, check the middle one, optimize start points for faster printing speeds. Okay, addition, um, for the, the three ones here we don't use, only the first one here, use skirt rim, primary extruder, only one layer, and the offset from part is two millimeters. Basically, this is going to be around skirt outlines. I suggest you using this because this doesn't use very much filament, and it makes sure that um, your printing is going well so you could look at it at the beginning and if there's something wrong well it will be in the brim or the skirt okay so the three ones here we don't touch now the infill uh, so infill extruder is the primary extruder internal fill pattern rectilinear same for the external one now the fill percentage it's 20 percent um, I use 20 percent I think that 20% is very, very solid. Um, basically, this is the infill percentage, how much um, um, PLA, how much uh, material you want to have, what is the density of your product. So basically, this is 20% density, or it could have 100%, which means that the whole part is filled. 
um, this is going to affect the time it's going to take. This is not really going to affect the strength. It depends of uh, the object that you want to do. I always, always, always print at 20% and I think it's extremely solid. Um, unless you have a very critical part, you can go higher than this. But for general parts, 20% is largely enough. Okay, now we have the outline overlap 30%, infill extrusion width 120%, the minimum infill length, infill length sorry, is 5 millimeters, and we print a sparse infill every one layer. The bottom one here includes solid diaphragm, uh, diaphragm every 20 layers. This is unchecked. On the right side here, make sure that your infill angle offsets 0 degrees, 45 and minus 45. Okay. Um, if you're missing one of those, just click add angle. If you have one extra, remove that angle. Okay. Support. Um, support depends of the, the part you're making. Sometimes it requires a support for um, basically uh, non-traditional, should I say, parts, non-traditional shapes. You would use that um, uh, when you click that obviously it's going to add some material it's going to add a lot of time sometimes it's important sometimes it's not most of the time tell you the truth i don't use it i don't use it because um if the if you choose to appropriate the right orientation for your uh, for your part from the beginning okay you shouldn't use um, uh, the support material like I told you unless you have like a very crazy shape uh, something that cannot uh, hold itself while printing obviously you're gonna support the material so it's not gonna fall and mess up your printing but if it's for most of the shapes most of the shapes um, even sometimes I've, even I've printed the 3d ball without any support material and it prints very well most important thing is that you have a good first layer that it sticks right um, temperature of the bed is the right one temperature of the nozzle is the right one you should be good to go um, but like I told you in some certain cases you might use it if you do use it you're gonna check it okay if you don't use it uncheck it if you use it you check it this is the settings if you want to use it so the support extruder always a primary extruder um, the support infill percentage 10% you don't want to put too much uh, uh, material into it you know, you're going to waste a lot of your material so you have an extra inflation distance of one millimeter no dense support layer dense fill uh, dense infill percentage is 40 percent okay print support every one layer horizontal offset from part 0 0.3 millimeters okay we have one upper and one lower vertical separation layers okay on the right side here the support type is normal uh, resolution of four millimeters and a max overhang angle of 45 degrees and in here the support infill angles we do not have any infill angles so i'm going to uncheck this for me okay temperature temperature is really important now um to add one you click on add temperature control and you use you choose the name basically of the um uh, for the monitor's temperature here okay please enter a name for the new monitor temperature temperature sorry so you should have two you should have the primary extruder and you should have one for the bed okay so for primary extruder the temperature identifier is t0 okay and here temperature control type you need to check extruder so basically it doesn't recognize t0 as an extruder you need to manually use that so click on primary extruder okay temperature identifier is t0 and the temperature control type is at the extruder here these two are unchecked and for here wait for temperature controller to stabilize before beginning build really important because it's going to vary it's going to go for example i'm using 205 it's going to vary it's going to go to 205 then it's going to go back down to 204 to 203 then it's going to go back up to 204 the reason why is because the the, the the temperature sensor is not that detailed right and there's a fluctuation in temperature so you really want to make sure that it's a stable 205 before using um, before starting the print okay um, for here here the layer number one and the temperature 200 degrees you leave it as is here uh, this is only if you want to add something uh, next one is the bed the bed the temperature identifier is t1 so basically the second one and you need to choose heated build platform okay really important these two always 
um, unchecked and we want to wait for the temperature control to stabilize before beginning build and here obviously you want to make sure that the layer one has a temperature of 60 degrees um, for the case of the mini price select mini this is the maximum you can go above that okay so next we've got cooling here cooling here um, so the first layer has a fan speed of zero and second layer has a speed of 100 okay this is what you want to have here for the fan option this must be unchecked or the speed overrides just adjusting blah, blah, printing speed for layer below 15 seconds and allow speed reduction down to 20 percent this is checked okay these two here unchecked fan overrides we don't want to have any fan overrides the g code okay the g code here is, is where you have basically your information uh for the 3d printer first one is checked 5d firmware checked allow zeroing of extrusion distance checked and firmware support sticky parameters checked on the left side you just want to have these three make sure to uncheck everything else g-code offsets we do not want to use any offsets in our device so it must be set at zero for update machine definition you don't want to click that you want to choose a cartesian robot here rectangular volume the build volume is 120 120 120 so basically this is the dimension of the bed the origin offset we do not want to have any offset and this is very 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 important if you choose an offset your device your nozzle is going to go try to go too far to the left the bottom up down okay and it's going to mess up your bed so it's really important to leave the um, to offset at zero okay homing directory um the minimum everywhere okay flip build table access it's really important to have the y axis choose here and a tool uh head offsets is tool zero zero and zero at the bottom update firmware configuration okay uh you can check this one choose rub rub marlin repeater sprinter and a baud rate of 250,000 bits per second. This is, I think this is checked by default, so you could leave this on. Scripts. Okay, this is very important. This script is very important. Um, uh, this is not actually my script. This is a script of an, uh, uh, another uh, guy that posted it. I'm going to post the link in the description below so you can watch his video as well. So, you have G. This must be... Uh, the exact same thing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna put it in the description below okay and you want to copy it here so G28 home all axes this is this is basically what this does G92 E0 0 the extruded length this here extrude 10 millimeters prime to the nozzle what it's gonna do it's gonna um, it's gonna print uh, a small filament of uh, uh, it's not 10 millimeters I don't know it's 10 it's about 10 centimeters um, to prime the nozzle. I don't know why he wrote 10 millimeters though. So what's going to do is it's going to move uh, towards the negative Z axis. So basically when your machine is at zero, it's going to go back and it's going to print for about 10 millimeters just to uh, extrude um, some material. The reason why this is very, very, very important is because sometimes it gets clogged. Okay. Um, and you don't want to have this little extra filament inside your um, your actual printing reason why is because it's going to offset the whole drawing okay each time it's going to go on top of it okay it's going to it's going to move it's going to move because um, your nozzle should be at approximately one millimeter away from your bed so if there is something in between that's going to mess up your 3d printing okay so you want to then zero the extruded length again you want to move the head three millimeters up just to be safe so it doesn't touch the bed and you want to zero the extruded length again and then it's going to start okay so this is just a matter of copy paste this is very 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 important uh but it's actually one of the most important uh steps here or else it's not really going to do anything it's just going to go and try to print directly you don't want to do that you want to verify that everything is okay and then let it run by itself okay so for this like i told you guys i'm going to copy it so you just copy paste don't touch anything else okay um for the rest the other scripts here we have the ending script okay this is what you do basically at the end okay same things 
uh, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to put it in the description below. Okay, so just copy paste. This is very, very important. Okay, for auto here, the speed, the default printing speed, I have 2400 millimeters per minute. Outlight under speed 40%, solid infill under speed 60%, support structure under speed at 80%, the XY axis movement speed at 3600 millimeters per minute, and Z axis movement speed at 1000 uh, millimeters per minute. Filament diameter, this is very important. We're using PLA, it's 1.75. Uh, you shouldn't change that okay by default it should be 1.75 it's not make sure to uh, enter the appropriate information um, the filament price this is if you want to basically uh, um, if this is if you want to know how much it's actually going to cost to print that I'm going to show you where it is uh, so for example mine wasn't was well, it was about $27 with the taxes and the filament density it's 1.25 for PLA Unsupport area threshold 50, zero for inflation distance, 100% for bridging extrusion multiplier and 100% for bridging speed multiplier. And in advance here, um, start putting at height zero is checked. The bottom one here unchecked. Non-manifold segment is heel. Merge all outline is unchecked. For thin wall behavior, we want to allow a gap fill when necessary and you want to have it at 10% and the ooze control behavior check the first one and the bottom one the movement behavior is unchecked and at the bottom tool change retraction you want a tool change retraction distance of 12 millimeters we want an extra restart distance of minus 0 0.5 millimeters and you want a retraction speed of 600 millimeters per minute okay so these are for the settings